niña biopsias de seno o varios. Ok. <laughs> Hello, class. Good morning. Hello. Good, good evening. Morning. Good morning, teacher. <laughs> good evening. <laughs> it's the habit. <laughs> How are you? Fine, thank you. Oh, before Fine, anything, there is no class tomorrow. Yes. 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 It's, on, it's until you? Friday. I saw the I, chat. I, I saw the, uh, the notice. Mm. The notice, but. I can't um, answer it because I was uh, really busy. Oh, but that's good. Busy is good. Not busy is bad. Um, do you work tomorrow? No, no. Well, tomorrow I, I, I will my day off. I will what? After I will, I need a verb. I will have. I will take, I will go. After will, you need a verb. Uh, Sandra? Oh, who said I will? Sandra, yeah, I think. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Hi, Sandra. Or oh, was it you, Patricia, that said, mm -hmm. I will my day off? No, oh. Patricia was. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I said, I said that. Okay. I will tell her no, no, in my day of. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Rafael, does pollo uh, does the open tomorrow? Yes, every day is open. So I'm tomorrow, to... tomorrow there will be um, breakfast. Yes, right. Two for one. Two for one, always. Hey, you know what? I might go. I might go eat breakfast tomorrow. Really? It's a typical breakfast, right? Always. Yes. Typical. Yeah, okay. I might go tomorrow then. Tomorrow I'm going to work, but only by phone. Oh, okay. You're going to be on call. Yes. All right. Good. All right. I don't like tomorrow. Why not? Ah, because it's your birthday. No, that part I like. <laughs> No, what I don't like is that I live I live near the um, cemetery, the um, Jardines del Recuerdo in Autopista Sur. Oh, yes. I know. Oh, my God. It's such a big traffic all day. Oh, yes. You have to chance you, to, you to, live to, in to the create back. a business, teacher. I live, I live like behind, um, remember Rancho Navarra, Rancho de Navarra? Yes. Yes. Other, ah, yeah, yes, uh, yes, in, I know. On the other side, there's like a park. Miss, That's where Mr. I live. Hermosa. Mr. Hermosa, yes. Yes, I know, yes. But, you know, class, tomorrow, I don't recommend you do not go to Oloquilta or Los Planes. Avoid passing the autopista tomorrow. Because it's very full. Mm -hmm. Because of the cemetery. Okay. It is very, it's very crowded. Oh yes, this is um, it's a lot of traffic. Oof, today uh, it was a, a chaos. Yes, you know I am. Um, today when I got home, I ate so much ice cream. I don't really like sweet things, but I just went to the freezer and I, there was like chocolate ice cream, and I started eating. I was anxious because. I was in traffic like for two hours. Oh my God. What a difficult day. Oh man, it was horrible. Horrible day. I'm glad it's finished. We were near, uh, well, surrounding the San Miguelito market. Oh my God, over there. Oh Everybody man, I could imagine. Selling flowers, you know. Oh my God, the traffic was ugh, a chaos, really. And you know what? Those flowers are ugly. I don't know why flowers for dead people are so ugly. <laughs> I don't know why. They, they're like yellow and orange and red. I don't know. I, I never liked and those flowers. Mm -mm. Yes. I, I prefer like normal plants or, you know, like normal flowers. But the uglier, the more popular. Yes. 
All right. Do you see my screen? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Let's do a, let's do a quick remind of active and passive yesterday. Okay. Now that we're a little fresh. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's two things you need to know. If you do not know this, you will never understand active and passive. Do you understand what is a subject in a sentence? Yes. Yes. What is a subject? The subject is the, the uh, one you, he, she, it. who executes the Did action. You say? Yes. <laughs> the subject does the action. Yes. Did the action. Is going to do the action, whatever tense, past, future, or tense, but does the action. I am going to eat chicken. I am eating chicken. I ate chicken. The three tenses, I is the subject. Mm -hmm. yes. What is the object in those three sentences? Chicken. I. The chicken. No, I. No. What is the object? Ah, the object. <laughs> chicken. Chicken. Chicken is the object. Yes, of course. Sorry. No, no, no worries. No worries. So okay. chicken is the object. Why? Because the chicken received the action. So I is the subject. Mm -hmm. And chicken is the object. Okay. Do we understand a subject and an object? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. yes. Miguel, Joaquin, yes. Do you understand? Yes. Miguel, what? A little bit. Okay, I need you to understand completely because a little bit is not going to help. <laughs> because, the, okay, but no worries. Listen. The cat is going to eat the mouse. Who is going to do the action? The cat is doing the action. Miguel. Thank you. <laughs> okay, good. The cat is going to do the nuts. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, so good. The cat is going to do the action. What is the action, Miguel? Eat. Yeah, the action is eat. And who's going to receive the action? The mouse. The mouse. Good. So there you have your two things. You have the subject and you have the object. Okay. Ahí está la diferencia de I and me. Many people say I and me. O sea, es yo, pero es que like, I, I, I love you, and then you call me, you know. No, I, I use I when I do something, and I use me when I receive something. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah? I am going yeah. to call my mother. I am going to call my mother. Mm -hmm. I am going to do the action. The action is call, and my mother. My, my mom received the action. Yes. Now, if I change, I say my mother is going to call me. Now my mother is the subject and I am the object. Okay. okay. Thank you. I understand now. All right, cool. <laughs> Rafael, do you understand? Yes. All right. Janet, well, I'm sorry, don't talk to Janet. She's driving. Uh don't look at the camera. Why are you looking at look in look in front of you? Do not look at your phone. Thank you, <laughs> All right. Okay. So we understand subject objects, right? Yes, sir. Okay, remember if you do not understand subject object, you will not understand an active voice and a passive voice. It's impossible to understand it. Okay. So now an active and passive voice is one story in two versions. This is very important. It's not two stories, one version. No. Let me give you an example. Ahí está uno. I am going to call my mother. It's an active voice because when we speak active, hablar activo, it means that we put the subject first and and then after the object okay so the cat is going to eat the mouse is that active or active is that active voice active 
Yes, it's an active voice. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Argentina will be the champion. It's active. I don't care, Argentina. I care about Messi. Messi will get the trophy. <laughs> okay, it's active, right? It's active, active. Okay. A passive voice. Let me my story. The same story. This is very important. It's the same story, but now we change the subject is last and the object is first. How come? It's a passive way of speaking. Now, let me go back to this example. The cat is going to eat the mouse. Is active? Yes. It's active. It's active. Yes. yes, it's active because we have the subject first and the object last. Now, otra forma de decir eso is the mouse is going to be eaten by the cat. Yes. El gato, el latón va a ser comido por el gato. Soy raro, yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Soy raro, yes. But. That's that's, pero that's it's correct. Mm -hmm. That's a passive voice. So then you tell me, so what is the difference? The difference is you. Who do you want to make important? The cat or the mouse? Mm -hmm. The cat. No, no, it's your version. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because if you, if you give importance to the, to the mouse, it's an active voice. Yes. It, yes, that's what I'm saying. It's who you want to be important. If you want to the mouse to be important, hagámoslo con, con estilo. Híjole, mira, mira, oh my God, oh my God, that mouse is going to be eaten by the cat. Is that active or passive? Passive. 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 Mm -hmm. Because, because, oh my God. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Or I can say, hey, 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 look, 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 look. Look at the cat. The cat is going to eat the mouse. It's active. Mm -hmm. What well, we were practicing yesterday, I was telling you that when we speak passive, when we speak passive, Sometimes, sometimes the subject is not important. Porque es obvio. I was operated in the hospital. That is active. That's awesome. Why can you go passive? Oh, wait, 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 Patricia, why is this active? Because uh, the, the sentence that is, I was operated in the hospital. Good. Who did the action? The doctor. Operator. Mm -hmm. Yes, maybe the doctor did the action, not me. And mm -hmm. says, I is subject or object? Ah. Yeah. I understand. Yes. I understand the sentences. Yo está operando en el hospital. No, Ajá. yo fui operado. Sí. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yes. Because I actually, understand the rules. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Porque okay. también, and it's correct to say, I was operated by the doctor in the hospital. That would be actually the complete sentence. Okay. Pero, okay. pero obviamente, if, if I say I was operated in the hospital, ¿Por qué omito el, el, el subject? Porque a veces es lógico. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. What do you say is obvio? Obvious. 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 Y a eso es lo que voy. Remember the example with Funes yesterday. Si un día lo agarran, va a decir, Funes was arrested in Nicaragua. Mm -hmm. Obvious. ¿Quién lo arrestó? By the police. By the police. So by that's why it's... You can say... Yes, it's passive because you can say Funes was arrested by the police. Or you can just say, hey, Funes was arrested. He was arrested Alguien va a preguntar, ¿Quién lo arrestó? He was arrested by really, the man? Interpol. Aha, <laughs> like, uh -huh, by the Interpol. Oh. 
¿Quién? Fíjate que fue el sargento Guzmán. Like, who cares? It's the police. <laughs> okay, so do, you, do we understand now the subject and object? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Saben que esas son de las pocas cosas que la misma gramática es en inglés y en español. Analicen. El gato se va a comer al ratón. The cat is going to eat the mouse. Y el ratón va a ser comido por el gato. The mouse is going to be eaten by the cat. Pasivo siempre va a llevar pasado participio. Yes. I was It's the, the, the same meaning. Same. Now, this is not correct. If you do this, the cat is going to eat the mouse, and the mouse was It's eaten eating. by the cat. It's eaten by the cat. But no, no, but, but listen to this. Listen, okay, let's go back. I was I was operated by the doctor. Active or passive is passive, but as you digo, the doctor is going to operate me. Yeah, no, no, I mean, my story. So, is tiene que ser la misma historia, the same story. You cannot change. O sea, el, 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 el ratón is dead. Yes, the cat is going to eat the mouse, is future. Entonces, the passive is the mouse is going to be eaten by the cat, is future. All right, that, that was it. Really, it's not it's not complicated once you understand it very well. Can I say something? Sure, please. Uh, I I I have heard that in many document documentals, science documentals, they use a lot of passive voice. Yes, because um, really, really, it's like. It's what I told you, it's what you want to make important. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Um, in ventas, in sales, mm -hmm. I tell people in sales, you should always speak in passive voice. Mm -hmm. For example, Miguel, this is what you will receive if you get the contract with us. You will receive 100 gigabytes, $100 every week free in any restaurant. You will also receive unlimited beer in every bar of La Escalon. I'm, I'm, I'm inventing. Pero, <laughs> but you see how I'm saying you will receive, you will get, you will? Mm -hmm. You will receive when you're doing the offer, you tell in, in passive. Uh -huh. Yes, I mean, this is psychological. Yes, no enseñaron in a call center, really, and it's true. Because usually, this is what people say. ¿Sabe qué? Si usted firma, esto es lo que yo le voy a dar. Si usted me firma hoy, le voy a dar 100 gigas. Mm -hmm. So I am speaking active porque I will give you 100 gigas. Correct? Entonces, mm -hmm. cuando uno habla activo, cuando algo más importante el sujeto que el objeto, o sea, me estoy haciendo yo el importante. Y en business, en business, who is the most important? The client. Yes. Customer. Yes, the customer. So you have to speak passive. Mm -hmm. Bueno, yeah. si ven. Si ven las noticias también, cuando hoy todos estos mareros que están agarrando, van si recibirá una condena de 20 años, de 30 años, 10 years, recibirá, o sea, they, they, they prefer enfocarse en el, en el object, not the subject. Mm -hmm. yeah. El marero recibirá una condena de 20 años de la fiscalía. Mm -hmm. No dicen, la fiscalía le dará una condena de 20 mm -hmm. años, que es lo mismo. Uh -huh. But it depends who you want to make important or, or <laughs> emphasize and guess again, emphasize. It's really psychological. Mañana, mañana que estén hablando, analicen, ella acaba de hablar pasivo. We do. 70 or 80% of the time we speak in English or Spanish is always active, always. Yeah. But we do speak it passive. 
Mm -hmm. We do speak speak passive. All right. Do you have any questions in this moment? Oh, teacher. No, I don't. Um, um, and read about some expression. Uh, uh, couldn't be translated to active to passive boy. For example, that dog barked. Barked. In this case, the sentence only have a subject and no object and verb. Yeah, don't have object. Yes, that's you need a subject and an object always. Yeah. yeah. If there's no subject object, then it's not a passive voice. Yeah. Le voy a dar otro ejemplo. La Champions va a ser comprada por el Real Madrid otra vez. <laughs> you know, is that active or passive? Passive. passive. It's passive. 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 What is the active? The Real Madrid. The Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Madrid. Real Madrid. Madrid. Going to buy it again. By Real Madrid. <laughs> Real Madrid <laughs> will buy the Champions yes. will buy again. The champion, yeah. Okay. Very. It's an example. Okay. Now, yeah. if it's if if it's similar to reality, I don't know. All right. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Lesson objective. Let's see. The passive to describe a process. So listen. Aquí puede que oigamos passive sentences with no subject. Don't get confused because was what I told you. Sometimes, sometimes the people don't mention in a passive voice. Sometimes people don't mention the subject because it's obvious or it's logical. Yes. Porque si no fuera así, hey, me operaron. ¿Quién? La secretaria, fíjate. You know, <laughs> of course, a doctor, a surgeon, somebody operated me. In Spanish, it's usually this expression. Well, maybe, maybe, si uno ya conoce los doctores, pero cuando dicen me asaltaron, ¿quién? Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fui asaltado, ma, ¿por quién? Like, Really, man? <laughs> For example, I lost my wallet. Where? <laughs> <laughs> Always is the same question. No, and you know, after after that question comes the second stupid one. Do you know what the second <laughs> stupid question is? No. Where the last time you saw And then the third stupid one. Did you have money? <laughs> and then comes the and then comes the stupid comments. Yo por eso I always put my wallet like oh my god. Donde la dejaste le preguntan. Yo si supiera no la estaría perdida. No te acuerdas dónde fue tu más que la vi. Really man. <laughs> All right, let's see the video. Talk and get ready to take notes. Can you hear? The passive to describe yeah. process. Yes. Yes, of course. Is R plus past participle. A scene isn't filmed just once. Only the best shots are used. Modal plus B plus past participle. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Before we begin, let me review the reasons for using the passive. Number one, we don't know who does the action. Number two, the doer of the action is not important. Okay, here I would, I would, can you hear me, class? Yeah. Okay, here yes. we don't know who does the action, okay, or it's not important who does the action. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a process. 
And number two is the doer, I guess it, oh, ahí está. The doer of the action is not important. Oops, I was just talking about those. So the two reasons we omit the, the subject is because we don't know who did, the, who did the action or it's not important who did it. Mm -hmm. um, let me see if you remember, Beto, do you remember the process of the chicken uh, in um, Pollo Real? Mm. Here, let me give let me give you the active voice and then you tell me the passive voice. A person oh, oh, let me see the chef marinates the chicken 24 hours before. That's active, correct class? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. All right. Mm. So, Beto, what would be the passive? How do you say cocinero? The, the chef, the cook. The chef. The chicken was cooked for the chef. Okay, listen. Number one, okay, you're almost correct. But listen, one thing. Listen, Javier, am I speaking future, present, or past? Because listen to what I said. I never spoke past. I said the process is that... um. The cook marinates the chicken for 24 hours. The chicken is cooked for 24 hours. Excellent. Marinated. 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 Beautiful. Thank you, Javier. Excellent. Great. Thank you. Very good. Yes, the chicken is marinated for 24 hours. Ahora, vamos a la regla. We don't know who does the action. Yeah, in this case, we know. We know it's the cook or it's logical, but it's just really not important. Now, if it is important, yes, you mentioned it. Okay, do you understand this? Do you have any questions? Oh, teacher, when you when you uh, speak in active voice, use a, a tense. It will be present, simple present. Uh, any simple tense, past. any tense in English. Yeah, but when you translate to a past. Seaboard structure of the the tenses is different. It's the I same think. tense. No, it has to be but the same the tense. The structure, for example. In past. Yeah. Yes, we uh, will see that. Okay. Okay, that's a very good question, Walter. Sure. It's the same to me. Yes, but listen to this. Lo siento que le voy a hablar español, pero aquí se van a dar cuenta por qué. Yo comí pollo. Yo comí... No. Yo, yo... Yo... Wait, hold on. Let me see. Let me give you another verb. Yo pinté mi casa ayer. Active or passive? Active. 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 ¿Cuál sería el pasivo? Mi casa yeah, fue the house. Ayer. Mi casa fue pintada ayer. A house okay, was painted by me. Ok, good. Porque fue pasado simple, pero si uso pasado perfecto, mi casa ha sido, ha sido pintada, pintada por, mí. por mí. ¿Cuál fue, sería el pasado? El pasivo. My house has been painted by me. Has been painted by me. So, ajá, so, ahí va... Walter, the camera is on the house. Yeah. yeah. My house but we will see that here. Painted by me. Was painted. No, was no, no. Painted. I have painted my house. My house has been painted by me. Painted. All right. Okay. okay, so we understand, right? So why do we, why, sister, for the exam, why do we omit the subject for two reasons? Mm -hmm. Because we don't know who did the action or we don't care. It's not important. Mm -hmm. It's not important. Mm -hmm. It's not important. Mm -hmm. 
Funes was arrested. Funes mm. was arrested by mm. the police. Yeah, maybe by the police, <laughs> maybe maybe by the Interpol, but he was, he said he was arrested for legal. <laughs> okay. Yes, so we don't know by who, or it's not important. We don't know who that is. They actually If I say Funes was uh, here, mm -hmm. I said, is what what is the reason because i don't mention the people that do this was what what is the reason that i don't say who doing the action or hitting the funnels for example because i i don't know or not this important i'm sorry i don't understand your question <laughs> En el ejemplo de Funes fue asesinado, no arrestado. Oh. Para que fuera un asesinato, no, no, no necesariamente fue la policía. Entonces, en ese caso sería como la regla que dice ahí, no sabemos quién hizo la acción. Y por yes, eso we, sí, pues, Si no sabemos, of course, yes, we don't know. Ok, pero entonces, ahí igual aplicaría la voz pasiva, pero por la regla de que no lo sabemos, no por la regla que no nos importa. Ah, bueno, va a haber una mezcla de emociones porque unos no van a saber y otros no les va a importar, sino que lo importante es que lastimó, o sea, está en un ejemplo, ¿no? que fue asesinado. Yes. Por ejemplo, let's look at the chicken and pollo real, that example. The, the, the chicken was marinated for 24 hours. Ahora, because we are in Pollo Real, vemos el ambiente, entonces we think it's logical. It's an employee of Pollo Real. Mm -hmm. But now imagine you go to a, you go to the beach, a una champita, mm -hmm. and you see that only three people work in that little restaurant. And those three people are very, very, very dirty. Ahí yo sí quisiera saber quién hizo ese pollo. You know, I say, um, excuse me, who marinated the chicken? ¿Quién lo hizo? ¿La que se está sacando el moco? ¿La de los piojos o la de los pies? <laughs> La que se está rascando la axila. Ah, okay. Wow. Ah, pues no salt. <laughs> That's the secret. That's... <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's continue with. With this in mind, we will use the basic passive. In other words, B plus past participle. Work with me on this first Sorry. sentence. A scene isn't filmed just once only the best shots are used did you notice the use of b plus past participles we may also use passive with models this is the rule what happens here is that they're using movies as an example the filming but imagine we can do this pupusas are made with cheese and pork in El Salvador, pupusas are made with beans, cheese, and pork. Mm -hmm. Is that active or passive? Passive. Passive. Passive, right? Is it important who? No, because it's pupusera. No. Oh, obviously, it's a Salvadorian person, a pupusera, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if we go to Honduras, mm -hmm. Ahí quizás que queremos decir el subject. Because, hey, hondureños make pupusas with... They make, they make baleadas. No, nope, they make pupusas too. Yeah, they make pupusas. And, and they actually say that pupusas is Honduran too. Mm -hmm. It's a big, big one. Entonces, ahí sí podemos decir... Um, Hondurians make pupusas differently. Yes. Um, 
where are the Sun Mike t-shirts or the, the Sun Mike's clothes made? What? Do you know that? Sa, sa, oh no, San Jacks is like cosa. San oh, Jacks. San Mike's. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Is there a San Mike? Ah, no, it's Mike and Mike. Mike, oh, Mike, Mike. No, San Jacks. <laughs> Where, where's the San Jacks San clothes is, is made? Clothes. Yeah. You know, yeah, the factory. Yeah. They are made of the factory. Yes, it's made in. It's in Plan de la Laguna. It's made in Plan de la Laguna. It's made in mm -hmm. Plan de la Laguna. Yes. You see, here is really not important the subject because it's obvious it's a it's a it's a big company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I have a question, Rafael. In the Pollo Real, are the chickens made in the restaurant or they are made in in like a special warehouse that they send the chickens? No, they are made in the restaurant. Oh, okay. Okay, yes. good. Because it's like it's like bakeries, you know, like La Tecleña or something. They have a, a main house where they make everything yes. and they just send it a to fabric. all the branches. Uh -huh, they have yes. a fabric. Okay. All right. Hey, good. I think I think we understand now, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. This is practice, but tomorrow, really, you will speak Spanish tomorrow and you will say, hey, I just acabo de hablar en pasivo. Okay. Analyze. Mm -hmm. Si me preguntan, entonces, ¿cuándo, hablo, ¿cuándo es que tengo que hablar en activo y pasivo? I don't know, man. Eh, aquí es cuestión de... De gusto. Ajá, uh -huh, de situation, del escenario, sí, sí. you know. Perspective. Yes. Perspective. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, did you see that fight in la zona rosa? No. Yes, I saw the notice. Yeah, and news is news. 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 And they were caught. Ya fueron atrapados. They were caught. Good. Yes. You see the girl? Yeah, she was very pretty. Yeah. <laughs> no, she was. She was a very pretty girl. But she was a. <laughs> She was a stripper, she's, I think. Yeah, she's famous now. Oh, yeah. Too bad because she's going to jail. <laughs> she's yeah. going to jail. No, what happened, class, is that yesterday, I think it was yesterday, there was, you know, stupid drunk kids fighting, and they started fighting in the street. And somebody recorded in the cell phone, and later the police caught them. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Voy a hacer esto. Voy a hablar en activo y ustedes me lo dicen en pasivo. Alguien se haga voluntario. Yesterday, a person filmed some kids fighting outside a bar. Fighting outside a bar. And... I'm sorry, okay. So yesterday, a person filmed or recorded some kids fighting outside the bar. Later that night, the police caught them. Everything active, right? Yeah. So yesterday, a person recorded, mm -hmm. a person, the subject, mm -hmm. recorded, kids fighting that's one sentence the second sentence later that night the police caught the caught is the past of catch the police caught the kids okay now say it in passive the kid was fight Okay, we're okay, okay. We have the idea. The kids fight in front of the bar, <clears throat> in front of the bar and was recording, record, 
Recording? Recording? Okay, listen to this. Listen to this. A person recorded kids Recording. fighting outside a bar. Now tell me that story in passive, but omit the subject. The kid was fight outside the bar. And they then... were recorded fighting. Fine. Mm -hmm. Fueron the grabados kid peleando. Was... The kids did not recorded. Say the recorded by a person yesterday. Okay, no, but Rafael, you have the idea there. Oh, said, listen to it one more time. Okay. Hold on. One moment, please. Oh. Okay, there you go. I was you, Beto. Okay. Yesterday, a person recorded kids fighting outside a bar. That's active voice. Y bien detallado. Yesterday, a person, subject, recorded children, object, fighting outside a bar. Ahora eso es ya information extra. <laughs> so yesterday, a person recorded children, o sea, children, bicho, vaya, kids. Yesterday, a person recorded kids fighting outside a bar. That's yesterday, an item. Yesterday, kids were recording. Fighting, fighting outside yesterday. a bar. Outside a bar. Entonces, lo podemos decir, hey, yesterday, some kids were recorded fighting outside a bar. Mm -hmm. That's the, simple. I, I, the, I omitted a person there. Uh, the 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 kid was recorded by a man outside how, a bar. How do you know it's a man? <laughs> but in ese sentido es como no tiene importancia quién lo grabó. Ah, okay, okay. I understand. Yeah. Ah, porque my hey, fíjate que ayer uno, esos bichos fueron grabados peleando y quién lo grabó. That's not important. <laughs> The important is that they were recorded. Yes. Mm. And then well, they was cut. Uh -huh. And later that night they were caught. Sorry. The, the, the kid was uh, was recorded outside a bar. Fighting. 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 And later that night outside they were caught. Outside a bar. Mm -hmm. And later that night, they were caught. And later that night. O sea, imagínense que Chivo es hablar pasivo y ahí con ustedes no se dan cuenta. Porque ya hablamos pasivo sería, hey, los bichos que fueron grabados peleando ya los agarraron. Ya fueron, ya fueron, ¿cómo se? Eh, ya fueron arrestados. Ya fueron arrestados. Captured, ya. Yeah. Hey, los bichos que fueron. Yeah. Realmente se escucha menos robotizado, ¿verdad? Exactly. Uh -huh. They were arrested. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's like you say, hey, the kids that were recorded yesterday, they were caught. That's speaking passive. Mm -hmm. Hey, los bichos que grabaron ayer peleando ya fueron arrestados. Ahora creen que alguien le va a preguntar, mira, ¿y quién lo grabó? ¿Y quién los arrestó? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was All arrested right. by, by the king. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, let me see the, One the last part. Plus B plus past participle. One scene may be shot from five to six different angles. Are you able to describe a short process? You may use first, next, then, and after. Tell me if this is correct. Maybe 10 or 15 years ago, pupusas were made with 
only three flavors. Three traditional flavors. Bean mm -hmm. and cheese. Cheese. Only cheese or mixed. Mm -hmm. Pork, beans, and cheese. Correct? Correct. Yeah. Like 10 or 15 years ago, pupusas were made only in three flavors. Now, they're different. Mm -hmm. Pupusas yeah. are made in many different flavors. Chicken. Beans, cheese, and Chip. pork. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, like everything. Shrimp, Chipping. spinach, Shrimp. avocado, mm -hmm. pineapple, Chicken. everything. Chicken. 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 Yes. Uh, garlic. Like pineapple. Garlic. Yeah. Really? Yes, oh, yes. Those are so uh, good. The garlic, the garlic. So good like are so are so delicious. Yeah. Like, uh, it's like but, for uh, Hawaiiana. But that's not that, that's not the that's not the point. <laughs> Both the, sentences uh, are impassive. Thank the you. Chicken. <laughs> the chicken. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there are a pupusa loca. The, but, but, uh, the, the point crazy. is the, the point the point is that I was tell I, everything I was speaking was impassive. Because it's like what Rafael said, robotizado. Like you said, 10 years okay. ago, people made pupusas with only three different flavors. Different, they made them with cheese, flavors. bean and cheese, or mixed. Now, people make pupusas with all mm -hmm. kinds of flavors. Now, all that information, speak passive. Like 15 years ago, pupusas were made in three flavors. Now, pupusas are made with many different flavors. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I omitted the subject. help you out so let's see dun, dun, dun. knowledge check it says the sentences below describe how a movie is made complete the sentence using the passive mm -hmm. so antes que salgan mal let's show the answers <laughs> so number one to complete the script it has to be divided divided divided, divided. remember divided. Re remember uh, Rafael, that every time we speak passive, is past participle, the verb. Mm -hmm. Okay. También en español. Mm -hmm. Fíjense bien, cuando hablan pasivo, todo va a terminar en ado, edo, ido, odo, udo. Okay. <laughs> fue vendido, fue comido, fue vido. No, yo, fue visto. Vida. <laughs> fue vido. To complete the script, it has to be divided. The filming details need the filming details need to be written out. Be written out. Be written out. Be written out. Do you know what is written out? Escrito. 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 But what is written out? Sería sacado. Like uh, written, out. written out. It's like when you write something. Imagine you write a book. And then you write something out. It's like what was in it, but you take it out. Picture a question. Yes. I have a question. Uh, in this case, um, the exercise are about passive voice or active voice. Passive voice, sorry. Uh, I don't understand what is the tense used in the active voice in order to convert a passive voice in this case. I don't know, understand with use it has to plus B divided, for example. I don't know if in active boy use that tense present simple, past, past simple, or present perfect. I don't know. Okay, okay, let me see. Let me let me give an example. <clears throat> um Walter. Yeah.
I I imagine I kill cockroaches every night in my house. Yeah. Is that active or passive? Active. What is the passive? Um uh, the cockroach was killed. Por qué was? I don't know. Kill. Listen to listen to my sentence. Oh, I, I is kill, kill is kill every night. Are killed because it's plural. Are yeah yeah. No problem, no problem. Good. So yeah, listen. Yeah. Okay. So I kill cockroaches every night in my house. Yeah. That's simple present, correct? Yeah. So. If my sentence is simple present, that passive is also simple present. Yeah. Now listen to this. Yesterday I killed two cockroaches in my room. Is that active or passive? Active. 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 What is the passive? Um I got cockroach. Cockroaches are killed every night. Killed. Were. Were killed. Were killed. Yeah. Every. By. By Definitely. me. By me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Walter, repeat. Give me the complete sentence. <laughs> okay. So I, I'm going to uh, tell you that I'm going to tell you the active again. I killed two cockroaches yesterday in my room. Okay. Cockroach. Uh, were killed. Cockroach. Were killed. By me, by me, in the in the my room. Good, that's it. Night, it? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm going to kill five cockroaches. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cockroach will be killed by me. By me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Walter ya se respondió su propia pregunta. So how do you know what tense the passive is? You have to understand yeah. the tense you're speaking. Yeah. So, so if we look here, to yeah. complete the script, it has to be <laughs> divided in scenes is simple present. It has to be. It, it has okay. to be. Okay, okay, okay. It had to be or is going to be. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got it. You got it? All right, cool. Yeah. Thank you. No, you're welcome. Good. Uh, good. Uh, ask questions. Yeah. First, an outline of the script has to... Mm -hmm. es que, mm -hmm. Yo sinceramente no creo que filming was the best example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So... It, it was not like the best example, but let's do one thing. Daniel, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Yes, it's sure. I'm okay, yes. Uh, I'm thinking to make a Cuba Libre, what do you need? <laughs> um, Rome? <clears throat> How do you say Yerba Buena? Ah, uh, you can say mint. Mint and Peppermint. Sugar Peppermint. too. Really? Sugar? Yeah. Coca. Mm -hmm. That's it? Mm -hmm. What? A Cuba Libre with Loroco? No. <laughs> Who said Loroco? A Cuba Libre, you actually need Coke and rum. Yeah, okay, yeah. Let, me, let me see. Daniel, mm -hmm. Daniel, are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'm here. Okay, so what do you need to make an omelet? I don't know. <laughs> um, eggs? 
and and it um, x. I don't know. Oh my God, we are bad. We don't know Cuba Libre, and you don't know an omelet. You need eggs and vegetables and ham. And ham. 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 Mm. Maybe okay. sometimes you, you can put cheese. I see you can put loroco. Yeah, if you like. <laughs> Daniela de la Cruz, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. What do you need to make a sandwich, a basic sandwich? A basic sandwich? What is, what is needed? I need bread, cheese, and I'm not sure. Ham, 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 ham. All right, good. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's the basic sandwich, right? Bread. Yes. Two, two slices of bread. But oigan que Daniela, she spoke active. I need bread, ham, and cheese. Uh, tomato. Tomato. Mayonnaise. Mayo mayonnaise. And egg. No, hey, wait, wait, wait. I said basic. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. But okay. I say tuna, pepini, yeah. that's, 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 that's Subway, okay? That's Subway. <laughs> okay, so, or you can say, Daniela, but this is, I need, you just say bread, ham, and cheese is, need, is needed to make a sandwich. To make pupusas, what is needed? Dough, que es masa, uh, dough. Dough. De ahí viene la palabra donut. <laughs> dough. Dough. Dough, cheese. Loco. Beans. 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 Uh, and pork. Loco. Pork. Uh, oil. Oreo. Yes. Aceites. Oh, oil. Oil. Mm. Oil. Oil. No, Oreo. I heard Oreo. Like Oreo, really? Oreo. Me too. <laughs> Maybe in Antioquia. In Antioquia. I Maybe someday in the future it will be possible. Okay, so uh, number five locations are picked. Las localidades son escogidas. Customers are designed. Filming can be, can begin. Oh, I'm sorry. Customs are designed. The outline is expanded into a script. After the script is completed, a director is hired. A final film you see on screen is created by the director and editor out of thousands of different shots. Mm -hmm. Soon after the film has been edited, music is composed, composed and sound effects composed. are added. It's composed. After the filming is finished, the different shots mm -hmm. can then be put together. Yes. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's it's a process. Voy a volver a molestar a Mr. Dabu, pero porque no explicó el proceso. So. First, the chicken is killed. And then the chicken is marinated. Marinated. And then the chicken is marinated for 24 hours. 24 hours. It's a long time. Yeah, and then the chicken is cooked. What do you say? Desplumado. Uh, sería pluck. Pluck is pluck. P-L-U-C-K. Pluck. Pluck. Entonces, desplumar es unpluck. Unpluck. 
unplugged. Yes, okay, the chicken is killed. The chicken is unplugged. <laughs> yeah. No, first I'm plucked. No, first he's killed, I think. Oh, oh first he's killed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, you're right. <laughs> yeah. That oh is, my God. Yes. you are cruel, ah. Sandra. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Really, really. Oh, my God. Oh my God. That's <laughs> animal cruelty. <laughs> no, it's a mistake. No, so first the chicken is killed, it's unplugged and I don't know, washed. Mm -hmm. What with lemon? It's washed and then it's, it's marinated, cold. cooked, mm -hmm. and then it's eaten. Mm -hmm. in, in El Salvador, pupusas are eaten with fingers. Mm -hmm. In the United States, they are eaten with forks. Forks. With fork. Mm -hmm. uh, but when, when they come here, how do they come? How do they eat the pupusas? Uh, with fork too? Uh, mm -hmm. The American. Yes. Depends on the person. If the person is Americanized, um, okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> it depends if they have a confidence with, with the people around around them. Nunca oyeron el chiste del gringo que venía de el hermano lejano que se fue a Estados Unidos cinco años y regresó ya no podía hablar español todo era um um ya no sabía nada del país y, y dice que fue el muelle right oh qué lindo El Salvador oh y vio los cangrejos right oh my God qué es eso son arañas acuáticas yo tocar una y lo mordió <risa> Y se le salió, ay, pin, punche hijo de tu madre. <risa> y no, ay, punche hijo de su madre. Ay. <risa> Remember. Yeah. The language. Oh, now my memory is back. No, but you know what? You know, you know that people like that really do exist. I remember this year I, I went to the airport and I went to pick up my uncle and um I don't know what happened in Mexico, but they delayed for like four hours. <clears throat> or perdieron avión. I don't know. I don't remember, but like for four hours. And my uncles, they're old, so they don't they don't use technology, the the, the cell phone. Mm -hmm. So every time an airplane came, mm -hmm. I was there checking, like me che como ocho aviones, like. I had no information of what airplane <laughs> or no information if they were coming from Belize or Mexico or I no information. So in that time I saw many, I promise, te lo juro, vi tantos ejemplos like people venían con like de vaqueros y, uh, ¿qué tal? Oh, um, uh, uh, like, oh my God, really? Hay uno que pidió, y aquí pasa, pasa un tren por acá. <laughs> O sea, dan una gana de you stupid idiot man. <laughs> y siempre existe eso que va la gente en un gran camión a traer a la gente. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, class. Uh, enjoy tomorrow. Enjoy your day off. Rest. Rest. And yeah, we have we have Thursday. Yeah, we have two more days to finish, and yeah, we're okay. If we finish everything by Thursday, I hope. Para hacer una canción el el. Yes, Beto. <laughs> Sorry, it's my mistake. Ah. <laughs> if we finish everything by Thursday, maybe we can do a free activity on Friday. Oh, like, I have a question. Sure. Uh, can we? 
Can we begin the, 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 the final exam? Can we start the final exam? Yes, if you want, do it. It's okay. Mejor uh -huh. así, we finish quicker. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, then um, I will see you Thursday. See you on Thursday. See you. See you. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night.